Trial date set now for the Claremont County father accused of murdering his three young sons. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Ashley Kirkland and I'm Chris Jacobs. Uh, Chad Dorman was indicted on 21 charges, including nine counts of aggravated murder. If convicted, he faces the death penalty. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson joins us now to walk us through what happened today and what we expect will unfold in the coming months, Karen. Well, hey guys, Chad Dorman's trial set to begin July 8th of next year. It's expected to last four weeks, but in the coming months, we will hear arguments over motions filed by the defense. They recently filed 34 motions. All right. Chad Dorman walked briskly into a Claremont County courtroom for a hearing that lasted less than 15 minutes. He showed no emotion as future court dates were set, including a trial date. Essentially, we're looking at uh, July 8th through August 2nd. Dorman is accused of murdering his three young sons at their home on Laurel Lindell Road in Monroe Township. Prosecutors say Dorman had planned the murders for months. Then they say on June 15th, he came home from work early and had his wife and their three boys join him for a nap in the couple's bedroom. Dorman is then accused of getting up, grabbing a rifle from the gun safe and shooting his children. Seven-year-old Clayton, four-year-old Hunter, and three-year-old Chase. Stand up! Stand Dorman was arrested on his front porch. In the coming months, Dorman will return to court for pretrial hearings, including one where the judge will hear arguments over 34 motions filed by the defense. There's a set of them that deal with the jury picking process. I understand that. Defense attorneys are asking that potential jurors be questioned individually on issues related to publicity and the death penalty, and that the jury pool consists of convicted felons who have served their sentences. They also want gruesome photographs of the deceased children to be excluded from the trial, and are asking the court to prohibit prosecution witnesses from giving emotional testimony. The defense wants to make sure jurors don't reach a verdict based on sympathy. And other motions filed are pretty common. For example, the defense is asking Dorman be allowed to wear civilian clothes without restraints for all court proceedings. This motion's hearing has been set for November 20th. Yeah, really difficult situation for everybody yes. involved. But has the state said if they plan on opposing any of these motions? Yeah, actually, uh, just yesterday, prosecutors filed responses to all 34 motions. Uh, there are a few that they're opposing. There are some that they're not. For the most part, they are asking the judge to deny all motions. And we will hear those arguments at the November trial, uh, excuse me, court date. All right, such an important case here, Karen. Thanks so much for the updates there.